Shalom, shalom, sisters. First of all, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High God of Israel. Call her Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai. And I'm bringing y'all with me to make some all-natural laundry detergent. I'm going to make a baby one for my little one and then a lavender one for my head and eye. So, let's see. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to start by prepping my soap. And we're going to do, we're going to do the baby one first. Let me do the baby one first. And I'm going to put my laundry detergent in this large container. This one's going to be probably for the baby. And then this one's going to be for us. Reuse. Okay. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. And then nothing wrong with this container. Just when you're done with it, you know, give it a good clean. Whatever. So... I'm gonna, there's two ways you could do the soap. You can either grate it. I've seen that people grate it or people um, microwave it. And I'm gonna microwave it because I wanna see it puff up. Apparently that's just something really cool. It puffs up and then it like turns into flakes so you could do like that and makes it pretty smooth to um, less work, you know, less work. Pretty smooth to just put it in the container. So that's what we will do. I'm gonna prep this and put this on the microwave for, I'm gonna chop it up and then put it in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. All right, so it's all cut up and now I'm going to place this on two minutes and 30 seconds. So. So while that is microwaving, I am going to put equal parts of borax, super washing soda, and baking soda. We just gonna, we gonna do it by the spirit, man. Cause measurements, we 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 gonna do it by the spirit. But we're doing equal parts. So I'm gonna do. I'm be using one cup to put it in there, and as well as this oxyclean I'm gonna put in there. So. Well, when it comes out good and fine let's see okay y'all this is what the soap came out to it only made it for about i wouldn't even say 40 seconds but this is what it looks like i'm gonna transfer this over to the container okay y'all so i got everything all the soap in there i'm gonna just chop it up like that chop it up like that Keep stirring until it's at least like a good, let's say homogenous type of situation. I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to add the other stuff and then we're going to start again. I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with like four cups. I'm going to do like four cups of this. Excuse Jubilee in the background. <laughs> All right. Just toss that in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like that, like so. Thick too, y'all. It's thick. But let me mix that up. 
Here we go. I just had to put some elbow grease. I'm not even gonna come here and fake it to y'all. I had to come and put some elbow grease into this and really just stir this up and really just make sure that that baby soap or unscented soap, whichever one, is like really good and incorporated in there. Cause it's it's still hot, y'all. It's still once it's hot, it's warm. So, cause but just be aware of that, cause it was trying to be all at the bottom. We need that evenly incorporated throughout the mixture. I had to pour some of it out. I'm not gonna pour it back in. And now we're gonna do out of air. Now we're gonna do the super washing soda. All right, I got it open. We're gonna do four cups of this as well. Okay. Y'all yeah, might have to. <laughs> I might have to do like two. Just because I still gotta put an oxy cleaning here and um the baking soda. So definitely get y'all a big container. Don't be like me. But I'm just trying this out. Okay, one more. I'm gonna do a full cup for this one. I'm gonna pull it down so y'all can see. Ooh, I got some on the thing. Okay. All right, put that to the side. Let's do bacon soda. I love that it has this. The options just to open here. I love that. Love that. Love that. I wonder if the oh wow. Borax had it too, but I opened it like a regular box. So don't be like me. Ooh. Okay. Now we don't have to put too much um of the baking soda in here. Just because baking soda is already in um uh, No, it's not. Sorry. I thought that it was already in the other one, but the difference between this one. I'm not trying to clean my other. The difference between this one and the super washing soda. This one is sodium bicarbonate, of course. Y'all know that's what big soda is. And then the super washing soda is sodium carbonate. So not bicarbonate, just regular carbonate. Gosh, it's not trying to get out of there. Okay. And then water. The super washing soda also has water. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay. I'm gonna do like two. It's gonna be a tight fit, y'all, but I don't care because I need all the stuff. I need all of it. Soda in there, got that baking soda in there. If y'all can do this in like a big bucket, I highly recommend that. But me, it's wash day. Wednesdays is wash day, man. So just trying to do what we can. Get that good incorporated all the way on. Yup, all that, all that. Y'all are making a mess. All right, y'all. I just started up with the spoon, and now I'm gonna put the top on and um, give it a good shake. A good. A good shake, just to make sure everything is good and mixed in there. And of course, every time you put a new thing in there. Try to mix it up, make sure it's evenly distributed so each load is getting the good stuff. So the last part of this is the OxyClean. The OxyClean. Oh, it comes with a cute little thingy. I love that, love that. I'm gonna be using this because I was like, how am I gonna scoop this in there? I'm usually I'm used to using stuff like this. 
So it's an adjustment. It's definitely an adjustment. Just draw real quick. Do not mind my background. It's Queen of Day, okay? So we're gonna get. I don't even gotta use the measuring cup. I'm gonna do it like this. So we're gonna do like this. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Two. Stir that up. Stir that up. Stir that up. Put it to the side. Nagalai. Nagalai. Y'all, it's thick. It's thick now. It's thick. But that was surprisingly easy and simple. And you know, I'm definitely, definitely going to let y'all know how this first load goes. Like I said, today is wash day. I'm going to use this right now. Right now. And I got all this stuff pretty much on sale. Especially the borax. The borax is kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll have to drop the prices um, in the description. Or I'll check in a second. And I'll say it when I show you. Tell you all how my load went. But fine. I'm going to shake this up. Get a one good little grind like that. Grind like that. I'm gonna shake this up. And that's it. That is it. All praise to the most high. Lord willing, this is helpful if y'all want to do this. And I'm just excited to have a more natural laundry detergent without all these ingredients we can't pronounce you know we got simple stuff borax is sodium borate we got laundry booster armor hammer washing soda just sodium carbonate and water we got baking soda y'all know baking soda and we got oxyclean right here just to get them hard stuff out you know sweaty stuff you know everyday things you know you know but this doesn't have bad ingredients in it either. I can pronounce everything on here. I know most of what's on here. So all praise to the most high. Call it how about you now, shy and shalom. Also, one last thing, y'all. I just went and looked at the prices. So everything that I bought, I didn't buy the container. So not including the container. Um, everything came out to be about $36. That's both of the soaps. If you're doing one soap, it'll probably be like $32. But the Borax was on sale for $5 and some change. Um, it's usually like $14. So a big save. You know, we like to save over here, period. And the super washing soda, this was $5.38. The OxyClean was the most expensive, being $11.78, almost $12. But it's a big one. It's a five pound thing. So this this stuff is a good investment, man. And then this big thing of baking soda was 338 or 334. So I can. And yeah, these little bars of soap. Five five dollars. We're gonna say five dollars. They four ninety eight, but we're gonna say five dollars. And when y'all do the loads, I'm gonna do about this much. And I measured this out. I put a little line on it in Sharpie. This is one fourth cup. This is a one fourth cup. You might need more for more clothes, but just for a regular normal wash, we're gonna try this one fourth cup of our new natural detergent. Well, raising the time. Don't stone me because it's not absolutely, absolutely natural, but it's homemade. It's homemade and it's not as many ingredients. So all praise to the most high. Oh yeah, how about you? I'll try. Shalom, shalom, sisters. I'm gonna do a load. I said I'll show y'all how I do a load. This is just some clothes in here from when we went swimming and um, some jeans. So I'm gonna put this on bulky items. And you can put it in here. Only thing I would say is a con about this doing this homemade. Sometimes it can harden up like this, but 
typically when it does this, it doesn't do this every time, but sometimes it does do this. And I would just break it back up, break it up, break it up. And use it again. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And the clothes that were in here before, um, they came out clean as well. So this is just excess. So specifically, I just break it up and then I do it again. I pour it in here and you can put this in your the top of your washer like this. Um, then that's where you put your bleach and your softener if you do that stuff. But, you know, put it right there. Or you can put it in the actual drawer. So I put it in there. Easier. And then I press start. Oh, start. And that's it. And yes, they come out fresh, clean, you know, all praise to the most high. I've been doing this for about a month now. And clothes still be coming out nice. You know, they don't stink. They're not dirty. I don't have to run them in twice. So this is what I'm doing for me and my family. Lord willing, if y'all are interested in this, let me know in the comments if you decide to try and comment. Ciao.